The 22.30 downtime update comes out tomorrow, Tuesday, November 1st here in Fortnite Battle Royale. And today we're going to be covering all of the free rewards and new free items you're able to earn in this update because there is going to be a lot of awesome cosmetics dropping when this comes out. Make sure you guys keep watching. We're finally going to be able to unlock the Chrome Punk skin along with Miles Morales and other skins that we've all been waiting for for a while. You're not going to want to miss it. And of course, we got to head to the item shop real quick and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber. We did get a new skin called Remy, which is pretty cool. So we'll be sending him as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also Leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys are absolute legends, so thanks to everyone that's using it. Bro, there's another Black Knight in this lobby. No way. This skin is honestly pretty rare. It's the max skin from the Season 2 Battle Pass, so like, a lot of people weren't even playing back in the original Season 2, but... My man, there's another OG in the lobby. Oh, and he got yeeted. <laughs> All right, it's been a long time, boys, but we're going back to the OG spot. We're going to Rocky Reels this game. We're ditching Fort Jonesy. We need some action. And like I said earlier in the video, tomorrow, November 1st or Tuesday is when the 22.30 update's gonna be dropping. I did make a video two days ago talking about all the other changes and stuff happening in this update. But uh, yeah, the main reason we know it's coming is it was added to staging servers. And this is actually gonna be the update that takes away and removes the Fortnite Mares event. And we're gonna go back to normal uh, pretty much until the end of the season when Christmas comes in season five. But this update is going to be a pretty large one nonetheless and there is a lot of awesome stuff that just got leaked earlier this morning and last night about what's going to be coming out in this update in terms of rewards, new skins, and overall just items that we're able to earn. Now, the first thing that literally just got leaked like five minutes before I was actually supposed to start recording this video, this is breaking news, is the upcoming collaboration between Fortnite and Polo Ralph Lauren. We talked about this in our last update video, but it, it but it got leaked that Fortnite was doing a collaboration with Polo, which is a clothing company most of you guys have probably already heard of. And with that being said, I will throw all the images up on the screen, but all the information along with a lot of the rewards and cosmetics, a part of this collab just got leaked. And uh, like I said, there is a ton of different skins and rewards. There's like six or seven different skins that come with a bunch of different styles and colorways. And we also have back blings and harvesting tools that go along with this collaboration. And it was confirmed by data miners that these skins and cosmetics are gonna be dropping into the item shop on November 5th. It's actually gonna be known as the Polo Stadium Collection Set. And also just a little side note as well, but in one of these images, the Polo skins are actually sitting on a plane which does confirm that this upcoming update tomorrow is most likely going to be the one that unvaults and actually brings back the planes into Fortnite Battle Royale, which is really cool. And uh, they might actually get their own little POI up in this snow area as well, since that's where they're all located at Frosty Flights. So make sure you guys save your V-Bucks for that because there is going to be a lot of awesome skins to buy in the shop once this update does come out. And it is gonna be a few days after the update, but uh, this was breaking information, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And speaking of V-Bucks, for those of you guys that might be running low, there is some good news for you. And that is the fact that once this update comes out tomorrow, Fortnite's actually gonna be sending a bunch of players 500 free V-Bucks as compensation for a mistake that they actually made. Whoa. Oh my God, this guy's lobbing grenades. What? Now the V-Buck compensation is actually for a mistake Fortnite made with the Saint Academy quest pack when it originally came out on October 24th. The amount of V-Bucks that it said you were able to earn through the challenges was mis- was actually not correct. So player, so a lot of people were actually buying it because they thought they were able to earn more V-Bucks back, which made the deal and bundle obviously a lot more worth it for how much money you had to spend. But uh, Epic actually made a mistake. It was supposed to be for a thousand V-Bucks. It was showing that you would earn 1500. So as compensation, Fortnite on the status Twitter account tweeted saying, we fixed the issue with the Saint Academy quest pack, now properly displays the intended amount of 1000 V-Bucks in the in-game offer description. We'll also be granting 500 V-Bucks to players that purchase the Saint Academy quest pack prior to this correction as compensation. So for anyone that bought this when it was incorrectly stating and showing how many V-Bucks you were able to earn, so pretty much anyone that bought it for like the first 10 to 12 hours, the first day it actually came out, you will be getting 500 free V-Bucks. And the reason I'm talking about this is because Epic is actually waiting until the 22.30 update to give these V-Bucks out to players. So all of you guys that are going to be getting these should be getting them tomorrow on the update day, which is pretty cool. No way, dude. Did the wolf really take this guy out? Oh no. Oh my God, there's a zombie chicken though. 
<laughs> what is going on in this game, dude? We are playing the, the, the worst players ever. So yeah, getting these 500 V-Bucks will be great for those of you guys that might be wanting to get the Polo Times Fortnite Ralph Lauren skins. So yeah, you make sure you save those, utilize them as well as possible. And on top of those 500 V-Bucks, you can still earn the 1,000 from the Saint Academy Quest Pack anyways. So it's a nice little bonus. Now, something else that's also most likely going to be dropping during this update as well that has been highly anticipated because it was found in the files at the beginning of the Fortnite Mirrors event. And of course, I am talking about the Chrome Punk Quest and the Chrome Punk Skin, which for those of you guys that keep up to date with all the Fortnite news and leaks, you know exactly what this is. For those of you guys that don't, this is a challenge quest pack that got leaked in the Fortnite files at the beginning of Fortnite Mares. A lot of people thought we were actually going to be able to earn these during the event, but it turns out Epic decided to delay them until probably tomorrow in the 22.30 update. But I'll throw images up on the screen of all the rewards. The main one here is the Chrome Punk skin, which is why it's so hype, because we're actually able to earn a really cool looking Halloween skin for free. On top of that, we also have the Graveyard Rave loading screen, and then we also have have the chrome seed back bling which goes really well with the chrome punk skin obviously follows the uh, chrome theme that we got going on here for this season and uh, what's really cool about these is it's actually gonna be quest and challenges that you can complete to earn these and all you have to do to unlock all three is level up so in order to earn the back bling you need to rank up 10 times in order to earn the loading screen you need to rank up 25 times and then obviously to get the skin which is the hardest challenge here you need to level up 50 times from the moment these come out now the reason this is a little bit difficult is because since we are so long in this season already, most of you guys watching, just like myself, are probably a decently high level. I'm level 144 and honestly, I've not been grinding that much. So there is some of you guys that are probably easily level 200 plus already that getting another 50 levels will be a lot harder than someone that just started playing Fortnite. So whenever these do drop, which is hopefully tomorrow when the update comes out, I will be making a video talking about how to rank up fast and get a lot of levels because I know everyone's going to be trying to grind and get this skin for free. Now, another big collaboration skin that has been highly anticipated here in Fortnite for multiple seasons now at this point. This is probably something that players have been wanting since like the early days of Chapter 3. And that is another collaboration between Fortnite and Into the Spider-Verse with them obviously adding the Miles Morales skin, which he is like the only main character from those movies that has not yet been added into Fortnite. You got to think about it. We have Prowler, which is his uncle and also one of the main villains in those movies that we had two seasons ago. And then this season, we have Spider-Gwen as the tier 100 reward. But up until this point, we have not had Miles Morales released. In Fortnite and a lot of people were assuming since we did get spider Gwen and Gwen Stacy this season that he'll probably be coming out during this season into the item shop at a later date but with the release of Fortnite Mares and Halloween it doesn't really make sense to release Miles Morales during that time period because he really doesn't have anything to do with Halloween so now that the Fortnite Mares event is going to be coming to an end tomorrow it's going to be the first of November so we're gonna start a new holiday season that doesn't really have any new collabs or events coming it makes perfect sense that for this little slow period between the end of this season and season five when we get Winterfest, for them to actually release Miles Morales into the item shop and give us all of his skins and rewards that we've been wanting for a long time. And it was also just recently found in the files as well that the Miles Morales web shooters and like grappler gloves or whatever that we had a few seasons ago did just recently get updated and changed, which means that Epic is probably planning on releasing these very soon. So it makes sense that, hey, Mor Miles Morales collaboration is here. We have a bunch of skins and rewards and awesome stuff in the item shop, or we're even maybe or we're even maybe able to earn some of these rewards with a quest depending on how big the collaboration event is and then on top of that we're also able to get the web shooters back and a bunch of other cool mythics and stuff so there's always a possibility for that this is not 100 percent confirmed but i think the timing of everything this is the time to do it if they were going to release it this season which i'm pretty sure they are i don't know okay i don't know what that guy's doing he is lost Bro, hello? Dude, I don't know how I'm alive still, honestly. Bro, this guy with his stupid RPG. I have no idea how I'm still alive, dude. That was like the most chaotic minute I've ever seen. Yup, GG, boys. That's what you get for using the pumpkin launcher. Get that out of here, man. 
Oh, that feels good. We had a gray AR and we were lasering people with it. We ended off with 14 elims. That's actually, that's one of our best games we've had this season. I'll take it. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you're excited for the brand new update tomorrow, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.